wanted to address the design argument. So this is an unusual argument because it is backed up by scripture. So if there is a bit of an issue, if you're a biblically literalist Christian uh, or Jew, uh, taking the whole thing like that, because then you're going to have an issue with how what you feel about, you know, sort of what you regard as the world, word of God. Psalm 19 verse 1 says, the heavens declare the glory of the Lord, of God. Uh, the firmament, firmament showeth his handiwork. Um, obviously the word firmament already places a doubt on whether it's sensible to say that literally. Uh, the other one, uh, Psalm 14, is the fool hath said in his heart there is no God. In other words, that it will be rational to believe in God. The design argument is the idea that it's usually explained with the idea of a watch. You are walking along a beach and you find a watch and you come to the conclusion that it's really unlikely that it has happened by chance that this watch has appeared so you conclude that there is a designer and then you say you walk further along the beach and you find a scallop or something and so you look at the scallop and you think well that has to have a designer as well uh, or in fact you have to have a designer the earth has to have a designer the universe has to have a designer and so forth this is a very flawed argument firstly because obviously evolution explains it anyway um also because in in order to have an observer in the first place, there are certain very stringent conditions has to be have to be satisfied for you to exist. Uh, so the fine tuning of the universe, for example, that is simply explained by the fact that there could be a lot of other possible worlds, and in fact there are, in my opinion, a lot of other possible worlds where the um, physical properties of the universe are such that there is, for example, a universe full of only hydrogen and no other kind of atomic matter, or a universe where everything consists of black holes um, and similar other situations. That's just because those universes are incompatible with the idea of there being an observer. So there will be no observer in those universes and so there won't be somebody sitting there saying wow the universe is really finely tuned, there must be a god because obviously that's not going to happen, there won't be anybody there. Hang that more closely to the earth um, yeah, if the Earth was a few million miles further away from the Sun, or a few million miles closer, or it didn't have a massive great moon generating magnetic field around it and keeping the radiation away, um, or it had been hit by loads of asteroids in the recent past, then yeah, there won't be any observers here either. So yeah, we're really lucky, but you know, there's billions of other stars and planets in the universe which are not so lucky. There's uh, loads of other bodies in our solar system which are not so lucky. There's the planet going around Alpha Centauri B, which is not so lucky because it's like that far away from the sun and there's not going to be any observers on that. So design argument is rubbish.